Now, Samsung have invited us to their labs to have an exclusive look at their TV lineup for 2010. Now, which is TV expert Mike Briggs is here, and he's had a look at them. So, Mike, I can see that they've got the classic glossy black frame. Uh, they're very, very slim, and they stand on a rather attractive chrome stand. But I understand they're also all 3D ready. That's right, Ben. We've basically got the 7000 series here, but also the 8000 and 9000 series TVs are all 3D ready in all sizes above 40 inch, and they come in 40 inch, 46 and 55, and we've got the 55 inch TV here. Okay, well you can tell us about those 3D features in a minute, Mike, but I understand there's a lot of other new features that Samsung has included on this year's lineup. Can you tell us about some of those? That's right, Ben. Well, Samsung being hard at work over the last year, um, this new range of, seven, of the 7000 series is basically LED edge-lit TV. Now, last year they had LEDs are all around the edge. Um, this year they've gone for top and bottom LED lighting. Should mean it uses less power, but we'll wait and see what happens in our tests. Samsung will also include a Freeview HD tuner, which means you should be able to get uh, high-definition TV through your aerial on this TV. Other things that they've included, we've got uh, ex expanded uh, internet connectivity. They've signed up for uh, some new deals with content providers such as iPlayer and Love Film. There's some more details to follow on that, but Love Film, you should be able to stream t uh, films directly to the TV itself. Um, we've also got a very interesting feature, which is uh, USB recording. They've added two USB drives to the side here. So if you take a USB stick, uh, four gig of above, you can stick that in the TV and basically use it as a single tuner PVR. Well, they sound like interesting features, Mike, but I understand that Samsung has made some changes to these models as a direct result of some of our test results. That's right, Ben. Um, believe it or not, Samsung actually do read all our reviews and go through them with a fine tooth comb, and they've made some changes based directly on some of our tests. Now, one of those was we were, we were quite critical of Samsung's high-end LED TVs last year because they only had one SCART socket. You know, that's not going to matter if you just want to watch high definition, but for the 90% of us who watch standard definition from all the time, that is an issue. So this year they've added an extra SCART. Now, these TVs are so slim, they actually have to put them in on these uh, small little dongles here, which you slot into the back. But they've got two of those. They've also added a headphone socket, which uh, we uh, noticed was absent last year. Um, other things they've changed, well, they've, apparently they've been working really hard on picture quality with a new digital noise filter. Um, they're taking standard definition picture quality very seriously. Again, we'll have to wait for the verdict of our viewing panel before we pass any judgment on that. And another area where we, we were quite critical of Samsung last year, um, on sound quality. Now, the 7000 series last year, the equivalent to this TV, the B7000, um, superb picture, but the sound was absolutely atrocious, and, and in, in the end we didn't give the smaller models a best buy. We've had a side-by-side -side demonstration today, and it that did sound like an improvement, but again, we're going to see what our listening panel think of that when we get these into the test lab. Um, this year they've introduced a new remote control. It looks very snazzy, nice silver with a backlight on it. Um, We'll wait and we'll reserve judgment, see what our ergonomics expert says about this. But um, one thing we noticed and we quite like is this uh, 3D button right here. <laughs> what does that do then, Mike? Well, let's guess what that does, Ben. Yep, it goes straight to 3D. Now, as you mentioned earlier, this TV is actually 3D ready. And that means it's compatible with um, the new Blu-ray 3D standard. Um, Samsung will also have a, a, a machine due out pretty soon for that. Um, it's also compatible with the Sky HD, uh, 3D broadcasts, which are due out later this year. So whenever I mention 3D TV to my friends down the pub, they always ask, well, do I have to wear those glasses? I guess the case is going to be the same with these models. Yeah, that's right, Ben. Um, Samsung haven't quite got to the stage where you can watch 3D TV without 3D glasses. But uh, what they've come up with is these uh, rather fetching active shutter type lenses. Now these are different to the sort of throwaway versions you get down the pub when you're watching the Sky um, uh, film the other day. Um, these basically work with uh, two LCD lenses on here which flick on and off. Um, there's two images on screen which you only see one, it fools your eye and seeing one on the left, one on the right alternately, giving that uh, sense of depth and fooling the brain and seeing 3D. Now, you can get these in a number of different styles. There's ones that go over the, the glasses like this. You can get goggles, you can get ones for, for children. Um, but there's also one other thing that we have uh, forgot to mention, and that's that this TV was actually upscale 2D to 3D. Well, how does it do that then, Mike? 
Well, it's, it's quite ingenious, really. It takes, it can take it from any source, whether that's live television, an old DVD, a VCR, or even some of your own movie footage, and basically converts that, add, adds depth to the picture and turns it into 3D. Now, what we quite liked about this as well is that uh, Samsung have introduced a sliding scale of 1 to 10, which basically affects the depth that you're able to see. Oh, it sounds, sounds interesting. Now, another complaint I've heard from friends is that the viewing angle of 3D TV isn't so great if you're off to one side. Yeah. Is that the case here? Well, that's, that's one of the first things we wanted to have a look at. You know, this isn't a, one, a witch full test, but it's something that we could uh, kind of get a, a, a hold of here. Um, well, we walked over here. Um, they claim 105 degrees. We came right over here, and uh, yeah, we were still getting the 3D effect, so that was uh, quite impressive, it must be said. And it's also worth pointing out that if you've got your old uh, DVDs, that you can watch them uh, normal 2D on this player. And also, if you're watching a 3D movie, um, that can be watched in 2D as well. So lots and lots of different options. I think they've got quite a lot of the bases covered there. So it's all very exciting stuff in the 3D TV world, Mike, but when's it all going to come to market? Well, uh, Samsung should be launching this set and uh, some of the other ranges in April. And you can basically you can buy the set on its own, or you can buy it in a bundle with their um, home movie theatre system and Blu-ray player. If you buy it with the Blu-ray player, you get a couple of pairs of glasses in included. Um, I think they're also bundling in some uh, 3D Blu-ray movies. If you buy the TV on its own, then you have to buy the glasses separately. Now, I do know all the prices for all this stuff, but unfortunately I'm sworn to secrecy, so I can't tell you. Um, but I think it's fair to say, from what we've found out so far, they're, they're fairly competitively priced. Well, it sounds like an exciting few months for 3D TV. Thanks, Mike. Now, our scientists are currently working on tests for 3D TVs in our labs, so that when these products launch, we can bring you side-by-side -side results and let you know which manufacturer makes the best 3D TV. So, for more information on 3D TV, keep checking out our website at witch.co.uk.